Dude, up, hey, dude, check this out. I was down the road and there's this little creek and I found lobsters in a creek. Lobsters? Yeah, check, look, look. I in a creek? It. Yeah, I took a picture of them with my phone. Look at this, right there. Let me see, let me see. I'm not sure if that's let a lobster. Let me see, let me see. No, dude, they're lobsters. Let me Let's go see what's up. They got the claws and everything. Let me see, let me see. See? I don't think so. Raindrops are falling on my head. containers, some tape, duct tape, you can even use hot glue, whatever way you want to fashion it together, it's stuff made from what we find in the house, and some knives and scissors, that's all you really need. Quick, easy, and get you fed. Just go ahead and cut the back off of this one, yep. nice. Okay, I'm not going to use this one. Yeah, I got a razor knife, so it's going to go through really Okay, let easy. me finish that one, and you start on this one. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be really quick and easy. We're not gonna take our time to make this pretty. The whole point in this is to catch these lobsters. Before they leave, who puts lobsters in creeks? Come on. But let's get this lip ball right here. You don't need that. You don't need it at all. But yeah, okay, we're going this far in right here, first notch. Yeah, booyah. Start, yeah. Let's get it right here. A little crude, a little rude. But it'll do. And just a quick note, kids at home that are watching, uh, if y'all are going to use a razor knife or a sharp knife of some sort, get your uh, parents to do it. Yeah, make sure you ask your parents. Uh, we don't want nobody getting hurt or cut. Alright, the first thing we should do is just go ahead and tape these things yeah. together. Yeah. Alright, let me go ahead. Right, do you want to try to stick them in some a little bit here? Yeah. Well, It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can use duct tape, you can use uh, staples, you can use hot glue, any way you can to bind those things together. Yep. Alright, right. 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 watch your fingers. Booyah. Right there. There you go, Papa. Alright. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put them like this. And if you can see it on this side, if you can bring the camera this close, closer. When you put it in like this, the crawfish can easily come in, but they're gonna have to pretty much jump and come out. But since they're not really good jumpers and can't really free swim, they're gonna be stuck in there. So we're gonna put our bait right here in the middle, and they can be done, okay? All right. All right, we, got, we decided that we're gonna go ahead and cut this lip out to just save some space inside our trap there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. And I'll get this one started. Wow. It's gonna be a lot easier. You need a door in order to get your food inside of it and um, also to take your, your lobsters out. So I figured let's go ahead and put the trap door right here. Right here. And yeah. then we can put our hand, place okay. stuff right there. Alright, so you want it to fold it? Uh, let, let, let it fold out like that. Okay, perfect. This. Let's get it started and then we'll do it with the knife. Put this in this way. But it would cut. This is so easy. It literally takes, you know, 10 minutes or so to make one of these. Awesome. Perfect little door. I'll get my hands in there. We can shake the bar now. Okay. okay. So, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a hole here and on the barrel itself. You're gonna have to come up close. See what he's doing? He's gonna make a hole right there. You can use a drill. Oh, okay. yeah, the drill. Or, or not, not fine with this. Okay. Gotta throw the tape a little bit, but it'll be alright. Okay, got two holes. And we just got just a regular bread tie. And you can take and feed it through the holes. Like 
like that. There you go, twist it a little bit and your door's shut. There we go. So now all we're gonna do is go ahead and tie, I mean tape, we're gonna go ahead and tape this right here. Our little lips, our little entrance ways. It's so hard to find an end on tape sometimes. Oh. Easy peasy. Lemon squeeze. There's two. Right. Let's do the other two sides too. Yeah. Make it. And you notice we don't have to tape all the way around because all we're doing is just making sure that it's stable, it's sturdy, they can't just pop out really easy. Um, as you can tell, it's, it's pretty tight all the way around and if they can get out through there, it's just all the anyway. So we're not worried about that. All right. Booyah, done. Booyah. It's done, we got a lobster trap. So all you gotta do is just put your bait inside, maybe some rocks to hold it down in the bottom, and it's good to go so the, the lobsters can go in and they'll have a hard time coming on out. Yeah, I think we've got this. Yeah, I, They won't come out because their pictures are just gonna be like, and get stuck on the they hole. They won't see it coming. They won't, they won't yeah. see it coming. And this was easy, yeah. so easy to make. Yeah. Let's go ahead and test out our lobster trap. See where we're gonna catch these small lobsters at. Where are you taking me? Hey, I told you. Ooh, I heard all that. Earlier today, I put out a single sided trap to see what we can catch, and then, then we're gonna put a small double sided trap with the GoPro to see what we're gonna catch up in there. Okay? But let's go ahead and check our single sided trap first. Alright. Caught a couple. Oh, we got our, our people saw. All right, let's go. Can you pull grab one? I'm having a hard time holding this open and trying to grab it. There's one. Okay, so Ricky, uh, what do you say about a little challenge real quick? Um, see who can stick their finger and get pinched by the by the uh, lobster. Let it. So you said you want to let me let it pinch me. Yeah. You want to go first? Or you want me to go first? You. Uh, I'll, I'll go first. Go. All right. Go first. Go first. All right, go, guys, go. All right. I'm gonna let this guy pinch me. Super uh, slow. Super uh, slow. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh, yo, yo, <laughs> holy crap. Yo, did that hurt? No, <laughs> it didn't hurt at all. It didn't hurt at all? Mm -mm. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna hold him? No, <laughs> I do not wanna hold him. Oh. <laughs> Excuse my language. Holy crap. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, it didn't hurt, okay, it didn't hurt, it didn't hurt. It hurt a little bit, but ah, oh, okay, okay. Ow, ow, <laughs> ow! He pissed me like five times. That don't count. No, <laughs> creepy. Oh, water. Whoa, that was a big bull. That was a big bullfrog, man. That was a huge bullfrog right there. When it's time, frog legs. We gonna get some frogs. We legs. gonna get some frogs. So what we got here in this little thing is some dog food. Uh, Ricky, my dog was actually pretty pissed about me taking this, so we're definitely gonna have to catch some lobsters. <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead and line the bottom with some dog food, all right? And hopefully we can catch some lobsters. Let's see what we got. A little bit of a jungle back here. Dude, I'm so excited we're gonna catch lobsters. I, I can't believe it. I can't really can't believe there's lobsters here. Crazy. Dog food floating. The dog food floating. And the thing's floating.
It's Godzilla! It looks like Godzilla, but due to international copyright laws, it's not. Still, we should run like it is Godzilla! No, it isn't. Holy crap, there's a bunch of them in it, dude. Really? Yeah, I'm serious. Alright guys, so we're gonna come down here and check this this trap. And I, like I've already looked at it with the light, and there is a bunch. We caught a bunch of them. Look at them all. <laughs> wow. Okay, guys, we got some lobsters. They little lobsters, though. And they're not really much to eat, but we got some. Maybe throw a lot of these back. Dude, I'm so surprised this worked as good. Like, we literally had this thing in the water for an hour. One hour. And we come back, and there they are. So the dog food definitely works. This one got no arms. <laughs> They're little. They're tiny. We gotta put that dog food back in there. But let me get my camera. Alright guys, uh, what everybody's been looking forward to is the fact that we did catch some, what? Crayfish. We did know that they were called crayfish. We were just messing for you guys. In case some of you guys really believe that we thought they were lobsters. So on the trap, the tape in the middle worked really well, um, but we did have to make some changes. Yes, we did. We ended up stapling it here because just having the one piece of tape up here didn't um, hold out well the first time we threw out in the on water. It, dealt, it did hold the, the crayfish, but when we wanted to throw it out the second time, we ended up stapling it. It made it a whole lot easier. Yeah. We won't cut off the um, lip next time. We're going to keep the lip small um, just in, because I just feel like some lost lobsters <laughs> I thought I, let's keep the lip small because I felt like some crayfish um, were able to escape so we don't want to keep that a big hole out there but other than that it was a really good um, yeah right. yeah I mean how many we got what 10 total 10? Uh, it was like 10 yeah, yeah. It, was a, it was 10 so, none was, of them were really big it was a small it was kind of a small creek I don't think there was really big ones in there so yeah we threw them all back out in the water they're not worth keeping um, but we do know that the trap works. This is the end of our video, and I just want to go ahead and challenge everybody out there to make sure that they what? Challenge the outdoors. Challenge the outdoors. <laughs>